Hello dear students, how are you all? Hope you all are fine and safe at your home. In this video, I am going to discuss quadratic equation and how we can find roots of the equation by completing a square method. Let us start with the topic. First is quadratic equation. When we talk about quadratic equation, few things come in our mind that what is factor, what is quadratic equation, and how we can find roots. So here we are going to discuss about root. Before that, let us start quadratic equation. We will discuss that what is equation. So if I write x square plus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. So when we find a equation in such a form, we call it as a standard Form. We call this in this way when we find an equation, we say it as in a standard form. And whenever the equation is equal to zero, it means this is an statement of equality. Equality. And in general form, when we write the equation in general form, that is general equation, we will write it as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Whereas x, b, and c are constant. A, x, b are constant and x is a variable. That means for x, we can take any value or the value of x is not fixed. In place of x, we can take any number. So variable means the value of x is not fixed. Now, next we are going to discuss that for which equation we say that equation is quadratic equation. Quadratic equation in which highest degree power of variable is 2. Whenever an equation is having degree 2, that means that equation is quadratic equation. If I write an equation x square, 10x square minus 7x plus 15, is equal to zero. You can see over here the value of x is two and the highest degree of this equation is two. That means this is an quadratic equation. Now, next, what is the condition of equation for which we can find roots? Let's discuss that. And how we can find root of an equation? Finding roots by simple factorization, splitting middle term, completing square method. Above two method I have already discussed 
in my previous video. I will share the link of that video in the description box. From there, you can easily follow that video. Now in here, I am going to discuss this method that is completing square method. Now, for that, what will be the form of an equation? So for that, finding root, whenever we are finding roots, by take all terms on left side and leave zero at right. So here you see that x square minus 8x plus 12 is equal to zero. All the terms are in left hand side and there is zero in right hand side. This is the form of standard equation and by this equation you can easily find the roots let us start with few questions so here i'm going to take an equation for which i will use method that is completing the square So equation I will take over here that is x square plus 8x plus 11 is equal to 0. Now how we will apply this method in this equation? First, what we will do, we will write x square plus 8x. This much we will write. Then we will do half of this number. We will do half of this number. For that, what we will do, We will do half of 8. We will multiply 8 by 1 by 2. That means we will get 8 upon 2 and we will simplify it and we will get 4. Now, as you can see here, we have got 4. Now what I will do, I will add and subtract. 4 square in the equation. I will write x square plus 8x. Now what I will do, I will add this value, the square of 4 minus square of 4 and plus 11 is equal to 0. Now next what I will do, I will see only this part of the equation. And I will compare this value with this formula. This formula a plus b square a minus b square this but this formula you are already familiar with this formula. In previous classes, you have already know that how we use these formula. Now, here you see what is the difference between this formula that with the value of 2ab, here the sign is plus and the with, with the value of 2ab for a minus b square, the sign is minus. Now you compare both the equation and you see here also plus sign is 
given that means we can write a plus b whole square a plus b whole square for this value that means a plus 4 square minus 4 square plus 11 is equal to 0. If I split this value, what I will write x square plus 2 into 4 x plus 4 square. So here x and 4 are ab and this is 2ab. So we can easily write like this. Now next what we will do we will solve this value x plus 4 square minus 16 plus 11 is equal to 0. Now further we will solve it. Now, what we can write x plus 4 square minus when we will solve it, we will get minus 5 is equal to 0. Or you can write it as x plus 4 square and we will, we can take this 5 to the right hand side and the sign minus sign will become plus. So we will get plus 5. Now the power is 2 over here. Now I will shift the power to right hand side. That means if I shift the power of 2 to the right hand side, we will get root over here. We will get root over here. So, x plus 4 is equal to under root 5. Whenever we write under root 5, that means we will write plus minus both the sign. For example, if I write under root 4, that means minus 2 square. We can get 4 from this also. And if I write plus 2 square, we will get 4 from this also. That means for minus 2 and plus 2, we will get 4. Now, by this, you can easily get that whenever we write root, we write both the sign, plus minus sign. Now, what, here we have to find the value of x. So, what will be the value of x? x is equal to x is equal to four will go to right hand side it will become minus four plus minus under root five 
this will be the value of x okay now next question i am going to take one more question i am going to take now see so this is the description what we have done in the question for finding the root by using completing square method so if a is not equal to 1 divide the quadratic by a write the quadratic in the form x square plus b is equal to c or you can write it as x square plus ab minus c is equal to Zero. Now what we will do? We will divide b, or you can say we will divide, we will multiply b with half. That is one by two, and we will add and subtract b by two both the side. Here we have I have written that add. b by 2 square to both the side because c is right hand side of this equation so like this also you can solve you can add and subtract b uh, b upon 2 square left hand side or you can do add b square by 2 both the side if c is on the right hand side of the equation then factor the left side of equation into a perfect square x plus b by 2 square is equal to c plus b by 2 square square root both sides of the equation and solve the x so in this method you can easily find the quadratic equation now you have seen that the form of equation will be like this only that means with a with x there is no constant there is no constant and whenever we apply this formula completing the square method the equation should be in this form with x square there should be no constant so for that what i will we will do if we find an equation and it has constant with x square so in that situation what we will do let us start next now if the equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 so what we will do over here as you see with x square a is the constant now what i will do i will divide i will remove how i can remove a over from here if i divide whole equation by a if i divide whole equation by a i will divide by a over here also i will divide a by second term i will divide a in third term also now a a will get cancel and we will get x square b by ax plus c a is equal to 0 in this form if we get an equation where in that equation x square is having constant that time we divide that constant with whole equation and we will get this form of equation
similar example i am going to take and i will apply completing math square method that equation now let's take an example if i take b oh sorry 10x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 so here you can see with x square there is 10 and what is the condition that with x square there should not be any constant so that means what i will do i will divide whole equation by 10 so x square what we will get x square plus 3 by 10 x minus 1 by 10 and zero will be same because if you divide zero by 10 it will be zero only now what i will do i will take this value that is 3 by 10 and i will multiply by 1 by 2 that means i will write 3 by 10 and i will multiply by 1 by 2 so then what value i will get i will get 3 by 20 now what i will do i will write the square of this number in minus and plus sign with the equation so what i will do i will write x square plus 3 by 10x plus 3 by 20 is square and i will add and subtract the value in the equation and this number also i will write so it will i will write 1 by 10 is equal to 0 now this formula you all know very well so a plus b square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab A minus A minus B square is equal to A square plus B square minus two AB. This formula, this formula we have to apply over here. Now, similarly, we will check with two AB what is the sign, and we will compare the sign with this formula. So here, with this value. the value is plus over here that means i will write a plus b square that means i will write a plus 3 by 10 is square now rest of the number i will write 3 by 20 is square minus 1 by 10 is equal to 0 now let us solve this equation let's solve the equation and what we will get here x plus 3 by 10 square minus 9 by 4 
फोर हंड्रेड माइनस वन बाय टेन इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ आई विल टेक एलसीएम ऑफ दिस वैल्यू एक्स प्लस थ्री बाय टेन स्क्वायर माइनस आई विल टेक माइनस कॉमा फ्रॉम दिस नंबर एलसीएम विल बी फोर हंड्रेड नाइन माइनस so it will be plus 40 is equal to 0 now now after adding what we will get x plus 3 by 10 square Minus four hundred, and this will become forty nine. Is equal to zero. I will take this value to right hand side. We will take this value to right hand side. X plus three by ten square is equal to four forty nine by four hundred. When I will remove the value, the degree of this equation, then we will get root to the right hand side. So I will write x plus three by ten is equal to root root square root of forty nine and four hundred. Then for then you solve it. It will become nine. Oh, sorry, seven by two. Ah, uh, seven by twenty. Always we will put plus and minus sign. Now the value we will get plus minus seven by twenty. so the value of x will be x is equal to minus 3 by 10 plus 7 by 20 and x minus 10 minus Seven by two because two values we have get plus seven by twenty and minus seven by twenty. Now we are in final stage of getting the value of x. Now we will solve this and finally we will get the value of x. X is equal to. We will take LCM. Six plus seven. One by twenty. And then 
similarly for this value we will add both the number minus 10 is equal to minus 1 by 2 these are the values of x so what we have done in this method is step by step we will discuss that also Solving a equation, a quadratic equation by completing the square. To solve ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero by completing the square. Step one: If a is not equal to one, divide both sides of equation by a. Rewrite the equation so that the constant term is alone on one side of the equality symbol square half the coefficient of x and add this square to both sides of the equation factor the resulting trinomial as a perfect square and combine like terms on the other side. Also, the last step is that use the square root properly to complete the solution. So next, here I have given few equation in which you have to apply completing the square method. These are the equation and you have to find the value by this method. One example I have given over here, you can review from this also and send your answer to my comment box and try to solve by using this method. If you have still have any difficulty, you can, you are free to ask me and comment your answer on comment box. This is small ad from my side that I take eight, nine, tenth class. Online classes I, I take and you can contact me on my email address or you can call me for online classes for maths classes. For now, I am signing off. Hope you have understood. Now, Thank <laughs> you.